I'm John Harbin with The Times News, and this is your News of the Week for the week ending May 20th. Police arrested a man Wednesday, May 18th, they say is responsible for calling in a bomb threat and made an assassination threat against Henderson County Sheriff Rick Davis. Dustin Grant Burnside of Hendersonville was arrested near Johnson City, Tennessee, on outstanding warrants for breaking and entering and larceny. Burnside is being held in the Henderson County Jail under a $150,000 secured bond. He could face federal charges for the threats police say he made. Three people were arrested after several law enforcement officers were assaulted in Brevard on Saturday, May 14th. Police went to a residence at Glen Apartments to serve a warrant on Michael Kitchen, 32, when Natasha Sinclair, 25, tossed a clear liquid on two officers and tried to set them on fire by throwing lit cotton balls on them, officers said. Kitchen is charged with a resisting arrest, while his aunt, Charlene Honeycutt, was arrested for interfering with police. They were out of jail by Sunday afternoon. A study on Blue Ridge Community College conducted by Economic Modeling Specialists Incorporated has sought to determine the college's economic contribution to the Henderson County community based on academic and financial reports from the college, statistics from the U.S. Bureau of Labor and earning reports from the U.S. Census. For every dollar spent on an education at Blue Ridge Community College, a graduate will see $5.30 in return during their working career, according to the study. For every dollar of support, taxpayers see a cumulative return of $1.70 over the course of a student's career in the form of higher tax receipts and avoided costs. Robert Singley, 46, was convicted Thursday, May 19th of setting fire to the Caldwell Inn in September 2009, destroying the 87-year-old building in Hendersonville's 7th Avenue Historic District. He was sentenced to at least five years in prison. Singley was given 414 days credit for the time he had spent in the Henderson County Jail awaiting trial. Hendersonville lawyer Sam Neal was disbarred Monday when a Wake County Superior Court judge signed an order finding that Neal misappropriated funds. District Attorney Jeff Hunt launched a criminal investigation last week on Neal conducted by the North Carolina SBI. Neal was disbarred Monday, May 16th when a Wake County Superior Court judge signed an order finding that Neal misappropriated the funds. Downtown Hendersonville Incorporated Executive Director Randy Jones submitted his resignation last week after seven months on the job. Jones, a former tourism director for Southport, was hired for the $35,000 a year position in October. The Downtown Hendersonville Incorporated Board Thursday agreed to form a search committee to begin looking for a replacement for Jones. For more on these stories and other news, check us out at blueridgenow.com, follow us on Facebook or Twitter.